Hey guys, what's going on? It's Swamtooth again. So I've got a little uh, video about some more pure data madness. Let me shut off the audio engine because the CPU is going a little bit crazy. I expanded on the last experiment um, by making a change in the pure data program that I was using. What I'm doing right now is I'm sending out a five note chord via MIDI and uh, Tobias Erickson's Loop MIDI program on six, actually it's going to be 15 different channels in the sonar. And you can see the CPU is going a little bit crazy right now. So I've got 16 instances of contra contact. Some of them have one instrument loaded, some of them, some of them have two. And on every pro channel, I inserted an instance of preverb. So it's a little bit of resource utilization going on. Um, I'll show you the reason why I wanted to test this out in a second. But anyway, it sounds like crap. A uh, little bit of a disclaimer. What I'm using right now is my Realtek onboard HD audio um, sound chip on the laptop that I have, which is a Toshiba Satellite S855. And I'm run running under Wasapi mode. And I'm running at 480 samples, which gives me around about 10 milliseconds of um, latency on audio. And let's see. My pure data program is running. I'm going to unmute everything. And you can hear the cacophonous sound. All I'm doing right now is I'm recording the output of the speakers in through the microphone, so forgive the sound quality a little bit. And it's real tech, but whatever. Anyway, I'm going to hit record here. And I'm going to let this run a little while. Okay, guys, I'm back. After 8 minutes and 45 seconds, just long enough to have a snack and smoke a cigarette. Anyway, let's go ahead and stop the recording and turn the audio off. Now, one of the reasons that I was doing this was um, I'm doing a couple of algorithmic programming compositions and working on an art installation that's going to utilize um, some math based around crowd analysis and pattern analysis. And what I wanted to see is how Sonar X2 was going to be able to handle multiple MIDI notes and real-time generated um, kind of algorithms coming into it. So one of the things that I'm going to take a look at, so I'm going to go back to the beginning here. So what I've got to do is I've got to move all the MIDI files to the beginning. So I'm going to go into track, I select it all going to go into the track inspector and I'm going to set the clip time to 100.000 that'll move everything to the beginning so now I come into the event inspector and what I want to take a look at is how much time basically does it take for sonar to get all of those 75 MIDI notes with all the other processing that's going on. Pure Data is a 32-bit program, so it's a little, you know, the performance is going to be a little bit different. Um, but what I'm going to take a look at is starting at 11000, going up to the next note that's triggered which is 11483, what I want to see is a distribution of time between the 75 MIDI notes that are being sent 
every 250 milliseconds. And if you look at it, it starts at 1100. We go down and it ends at 11004, which is four ticks because I'm using 960 ticks per quarter note. So if you do the math, there are 1920 ticks per second. And if you're going to look at the ticks between the 75 notes, what you're going to do is you're going to take 4 and you're going to divide it by 1920, which is 0 0.002. And because I'm running at a BPM of 120, that means that there are two beats a second, which means there are 1,920 ticks per second. So to find the number of milliseconds, you're going to take that 0 0.002 and multiply it by 1,000, which is two milliseconds. And for me, for sending 75 MIDI notes every 250 milliseconds into sonar, with all the math that's going on and all the graphics that are being used and all of that kind of stuff, I mean, I think that's way more than acceptable. And for real-time performance and live performance, um, especially doing the math behind the kind of stuff that I'm hoping to do in the future, I think it's a really good benchmark. Anyway, this is just one of those cool geeky things that I did, and I hope you guys found this vaguely interesting. I think it's a pretty good benchmark of your system, too. Um, I'll post the Pure Data program at some point, so you guys can download it and play around with it on your system if you want to. But anyway... I don't know, just more fun from um, the mad scientist in me. Anyway, see you guys later. Bye.